So hey there, welcome to another Vlogmas video. I'm in the kitchen today with my daughter Kendall. She's home for the holidays. And we're making our family's favorite, gotta have it if it's the holidays dessert. It's called Scrumptious Pie. And the story is, when Randy and I started dating, back when we were teenagers, I used to make him this pie. It's his favorite, it's my dad's favorite, it is his dad's favorite. So if there's a family get together, a birthday, a holiday, it doesn't matter what it is, we're bringing scrumptious pie. So we're gonna share that recipe with you in today's video, and you're gonna wanna take this to your next family gathering. So the ingredients you need to get started on your scrumptious pie, you need one and a half cups of flour, a half a cup of chopped pecans, and if you don't like nuts, you can certainly leave it out. You need one and a half sticks of room temperature butter and one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, let's get to cooking. First, you add one tablespoon of sugar into a big mixing bowl. Then you add one and a half cups of flour and one and a half sticks of room temperature butter. Then take a fork and you're gonna press the flour into the butter until you have a soft crust. Oh, you have to incorporate all this flour. Mm -hmm. You have to squish it. Press it, like see how it comes to the fork? It mm -hmm. just takes a while. So see how it's starting to come together? You just wanna press it with your fork and it will incorporate the flour into the butter and start to make a crust. Uh, yeah, so you do that. You don't have to work it too hard. I mean, that's good, honestly. After your crust is fully incorporated and you're just gonna press the crust evenly into the bottom of the sheet pan and then we're gonna add our pecans after that. So you wanna have clean hands is the best way to do this. And you just want to quickly, so that you don't get your butter all melty, press it into the bottom of your pan. And using the palm of your hand really is best. The key here is to keep your hands off of the crust as much as possible, or otherwise your butter will get too sticky. So here's what the crust looks like. It's evenly spread around, and this is homemade, y'all. It's not gonna be perfect. And then you wanna take your pecans and sprinkle it on your crust. Just like that, and just kinda pat it in there. Gentle, but just pat it in. And you wanna cook your crust in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes or until it is golden brown. And now we wait the 15 minutes. And because we always make this at the holidays, our family time, this is when we get to catch up. I hardly ever see Kendall, cause y'all, she's living in Milwaukee. But yeah, but she's home for the holidays. So we're just kinda doing our family things. So we cooked our 17 minutes. See how it's just kind of golden brown on the edges. It is fully cooked through, but golden brown. That's how we like our crust. So we're gonna let that sit there until it is completely cool. So after your crust is made, the ingredients you need for your other layers, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, one cup of confectioner's powdered sugar, and you're gonna need a 16 ounce container of Cool Whip. You need one small package each of chocolate instant pudding, and French vanilla instant pudding, and three cups of very cold milk. We're gonna make three separate layers for scrumptious pie, and after we make each layer, then we're gonna add it onto our crust. So Kendall's ready to make layer number one. So you wanna add your room temperature cream cheese into a mixing bowl, along with one cup of powdered sugar, 
and you're going to use your electric mixer to mix this really well until it's totally combined and soft. See how it's all fluffy and light and airy? That's exactly the way you want it. So just add half of your Cool Whip into your cream cheese mixture and you're going to fold it in gently, not stirring it aggressively. And you can just eyeball this. You don't have to measure it. Just gently fold it in till it's incorporated. So spread your cream cheese mixture, pour it onto your crust, and spread it around. That layer is finished with the cream cheese. Now we're going to move on to layer number two. So now you want to add your packages of instant chocolate and vanilla pudding. One package of each. And three cups of very cold milk. You can use whole milk, 2%. You can use oat milk, just whatever you'd like. Three, three. Just whisk your pudding super quick to get everything incorporated. And you don't want your pudding to set up at this point, we just want to mix it. So your pudding is going to be still sort of runny like this, but now is when you want to pour it onto the pie. So spread it around on top of layer number one. Just be really careful with your spatula not to dig down into the cream cheese layer because you want to keep your layers kind of separate and clean looking. So just spread it around. So now that you're done with your pudding layer, the final layer is the remainder of your Cool Whip. You're just going to put it on the top nice and smooth and then we're going to garnish it. But again, when you put this layer on, be careful not to dig your scraper down into the pudding. So you could stop right here with your pie because it is beautiful, just like that. We're going to add a special little garnish. If you have a microplane and a Hershey bar, or any chocolate bar. Yeah, or any chocolate bar. Dark chocolate would be good. Oh yeah. Just kind of grate it on top like that. Our scrumptious pie is all done. We're going to put this in the refrigerator one to two or even more hours so that everything is set up and really cold when you serve it. Now, we're heading to the Hayden house for family dinner. So we're going to take pictures of this when we slice it to feed everybody this evening and you'll get to see what it looks like on the inside. Pollux has been in the kitchen this entire time. Kendall and I have been filming this video, kind of lingering around waiting to see if we drop something but he loves scrumptious pie too. Right, Pollux? <laughs> Why do we call this scrumptious pie? I have no idea. Don't know. I don't really know where the name comes from, but everybody loves this pie. So we'll see you in a few minutes at the Hayden house when we serve this up to everybody. It might work. 
Because the first piece is hard to get out. Uh, not if you cut it big enough. Well, I'm going to cut it big. Yeah. So thanks for joining Kendall and I in the kitchen today as we make our so, so popular scrumptious pie. You definitely have to make this for your family, for your friends. If you're going to any kind of get together or holiday event, you will thank us. See you later.